Hi everyone, my name is Mahmood Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a Dance Academy website using PHP, MySQL, jQuery and Bootstrap framework. In my last video I completed the functionality of displaying various dance forms which comes under a specific category whenever a user click on this view dance forms link. And now in this video I will discuss about allowing a student to enroll to a specific dance form. So before coming to the to the today's topic, I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video, click on like button, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any queries then let me know in the comment section. So now let us start our discussion on developing the feature of allowing a student to enroll for a specific dance form. Okay, so now let me just first show you how the design will look like so this is my completely developed design so now i have logged into this uh, portal as one of the user whose name is rudy and uh, when the rudy wants to enroll to any specific transform then the user will click on this view transforms then all the transform will start displaying here next user will click on any of these transforms okay so if suppose if the user click on enroll now link for Bharatanatyam then this kind of form started displaying where on the left side you will see few details like student name, category name, dance forms, fees and all these details will get fetched from the table and started displaying inside this text box based on the dance type selected okay and here on the right side the instructors names will be displayed okay so these are the instructors who have given Bharatanatyam as their skill okay that's why here on this page I have tried to get only those instructors who have given Bharatanatyam as one of their skill okay and here in the drop down also I have shown these two instructors okay and then shift time the user needs to select and then payment method and after selecting these details then the user will click on enroll now link then that student will get enrolled to the particular dance form okay so this is what we are going to develop in this video so now let me just close this and let us go to our editor okay so here i have open enroll php file okay and in this file i have already connected my database configuration file i have started the session and i have set few uh, conditions at the top which will restrict unauthorized user to access this enroll php file without getting logged in so now here you can see at the bottom i have included header and footer files okay now here there is a div with a class of container and here i have created a row to display the header like enroll with this title let me just save it and now let's refresh the page and i need to log in as one of the student okay so now let me just see how many students present in my uh, table okay so i have three users so i will try to log in as rudy okay so i will click on login now i have logged in as rudy so if any student wants to enroll to the course or a dance form then that student needs to first gets logged in so that's what i have done here okay so i have made the student logged in and now when i click on this view dance form then you will see all the dance form will start display suppose i want to uh, join to this kathak dance form then i will click on enroll now and you will see enroll with us title started displaying next is I have created a div with a class of section okay and another div with a class of enroll box okay so here this is the custom css class and i have written the css for this class here okay so i have set the margin bottom as 20 pixel and i have given a border border radius width and padding okay so now let's just refresh okay this box will start displaying let's come back to our enroll php file and here i have created a form with a class of form horizontal and method as post 
and then there is a due with a class of row and another due with a class of six column okay so here what I will do is I will divide this entire row into two columns of six columns each okay so left in the left section I will display the uh, category name dance name okay and uh, payment kind of thing and then address and on the right side I will display the images of instructors instructors names okay uh, all those details will be there on the right side so here first I have created a left side six column due and here I have taken few information like username user ID user role ID so this information I'm trying to fetch from the session and apart from the username user id and user role id i also want category id and dance id okay so this category id and dance id i'm getting from the url which you can see here so here i'm collecting the category id and i'm also collecting the dance id so whenever a user or a student click on this view dance form an id will be passed okay so that is this ID is the category ID okay so from this page I will fetch the category ID and the dance ID okay so now let me just click on this link so here you can see uh, now I can access the category ID so if I click on this enroll now button then you can see I can get access to both category ID and dance ID okay so I need to take this category ID and dance ID from the URL using the get method okay so I can easily access the category ID and dance ID and those information I will store inside these two variables next what I have done is I have written an SQL query which will select few details from the table like category name dance name and dance price okay so these details are present in different different tables like uh, dance categories tables and dance forms tables so since this information which I want to collect is present in different tables now I have joined both of these tables uh, to get the information okay so based on the category ID and dance ID I'm trying to get the information like category name dance name and price okay next I have executed this SQL query then I'm checking if this SQL query returns me certain rows then I will iterate over those records okay and then here I'm displaying the student name okay save it and let's refresh now you can see student name started displaying who is trying to get enrolled with this course and then I'm trying to print the category name okay let's save it and refresh okay so category name is also displaying and here with this form I'm sending the category ID as a hidden information and dance ID also as a hidden information okay so uh, here you can see I need to store the category ID details and dance ID details also inside the MySQL table uh, so that's why I'm trying to send these two details as a hidden information along with the form post request okay so here I'm displaying the dance name you can see dance form name dance form name is also displaying then next I'm displaying the price okay price is also displaying and then next is the address okay so address is something which a student needs to enter at the time of enrolling the course okay. uh, so this is what I want to display in the left six column section okay and on the right six column section I want to display the instructors images and the instructor names okay so here to display the instructor images here I have written an SQL query which will join two tables instructor dance forms table and instructors table based on the common field present in both the tables which is dance ID okay so anyhow here I will be getting the dance ID so with the help of this dance ID I will 
try to get the details of the instructors okay then i'm executing this sql query and i'm checking if i return certain rows then i will iterate over those rows to display the records in the form of a list okay so here you can see inside the list i'm trying to print the images okay now let's see here okay so as you can see here uh, these are the two instructors who have given kathak dance as one of their skills in their profile okay since now this student wants to join the kathak dance so it would be better if i show this student only those instructors who have given kathak dance as their skill so that student can select any one of these instructors at the time of enrolling okay so next is uh, name of the instructors also i want to display see scarlett joseph and julia parker so below this i want to display a drop down which will also contain the names of the instructors okay and here next here i have written the label and a select drop down okay to select the names of the instructors okay so to select the names of the instructors again i have written the same sql query here by passing the dancing id okay and then i am executing this sql query and i am iterating over the records and i am displaying the instructor id and instructor name okay see here instructor name is displaying next is i want to display the shift time okay for displaying the shift time i have made a select drop down with set of options like morning shift afternoon shift or evening shift okay then next is payment method okay so payment method in the payment method i want to display a few options like cash or credit card or debit card or net banking kind of thing okay uh, so here i have done the same thing i have set few options like cash credit card debit card internet banking so student can select any of these options while making the payment okay and now at the end i have created a submit button with the name enroll course and now to develop the feature of allowing a student to enroll for a particular course i need to make use of this same name enroll course in the php code okay so now let's first refresh the page okay so here we have designed this entire enroll now page okay now we just need to work on this enroll now submit button okay once a student enters all the details and when the user click on the enroll now button the data gets saved inside the mysql table okay now let's come here at the top okay here inside the else condition i need to write the php code okay so if user has entered all the details and a post request is successfully has been made then i will collect all the details which user has entered inside this entire form like student name user id i will try to get from the session user role id also i will get from the session category id and dance id i will get from this form okay so dance id and category id as i have told you that these two information i am sending along with the post request as a hidden field so i will collect those information here inside this php code okay category and dance id will be collected and then price address instructor id and then shift information and then payment information you also collect okay and at the end uh, i also want to store the date of joining okay so current date will get selected okay then next is i have written an sql query here okay so this sql query will going to insert a record inside the tbl enrollment table with few fields like student name user id user role id category id dance id price address instructors id shift payment method and date of joining okay so whatever details i have collected here i need to pass these each and every information inside the insert query if this query successfully gets executed then i will redirect the user 
to the index.php file otherwise i will display fail to enroll message okay so this is what i need to write uh, to develop the feature of enrolling a student to a particular course okay so now let's test it out okay let's refresh and here you can see uh, if i click on the enrollment table here there is a record of a student whose name is peter fernandez uh, he has already joined a course okay and the category id and the dance id details is also mentioned in this record so now i will make an another user to enroll the course okay so as i have told you that uh, i have logged in as one of the user okay whose name is rudy okay now let me just click on this view dance forms link and i will click on this enroll now link now you can see here earlierly some other images were showing now since i have selected different category and different dance form that's why the images gets changed here okay uh, now the student name who is trying to get enrolled with this course of break dance is the rudy flyer and now i will enter the address next uh, yes i will select uh, eric as an instructor okay and i will select morning shift and i will select cash as a payment method okay now i will click on enroll now now the record gets successfully saved inside the enrollment table now you can see earlier there was only one record and now the another record gets added along with the details like user id user role id category id dance id and other details this is what everything about developing the feature of allowing a student to enroll to a specific course so in this video we have successfully completed this feature and i hope you guys have understood each and every concept which we discussed in this complete video and uh, if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any queries then let me know in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching